Good morning, Cedar Park High School. It's Tuesday, January 15th, and it's a D-Day. I'm Ellen Neal. And I'm Evan Vines, and the WolfCast starts now. This past Saturday, certain members of CPHS Choir competed in area auditions for All-State Choir. We are proud to announce that Matthew James and Caden Saliha both made this great achievement. Congratulations, guys. And Ella, this is a great competition. I mean, there's so much talent that I saw. And I, for one, got first alternate, so I was one share away from making it, but I certainly learned a lot. You'll get him next time, Evan. Thanks. Well, you probably see pals around the school a lot doing some fun things, right? But they do a lot more than most might not know about. Reporter Haven Pinnell has more light to shine on this inspiring program. Thanks guys, I have spoke with some people from PALS to see what the true meaning of PALS is. Cedar Park High School is all about caring and helping others around the school and engaging in many activities. PALS is one of the top classes that focuses on building relationships with themselves and helping others all around the Cedar Park community. So with PALS, we go and we take them out of class whenever our PALS period is and we just play games with them and we work on building relationships with them so it's not just all playing games and just having fun we're actually having meaningful conversations and we'll help it, we're helping them like through their life problems one thing pals do that most people don't know about is being a support buddy to little kids at different schools and making a big impact on their lives Pally is somebody that you mentor, so in PALS you either have an elementary school Pally or a middle school Pally. And I chose to do middle school because I felt as if I could make more of an impact because I went through a really rough time in middle school. So PALS focuses on what the children say and need as they sit down and talk with the Pally while also playing fun activities too. Well, the class I have a PAL in is like really stressful, so um, having a PAL like first period is nice because first period is always like really stressful. So we go out and then we just like do whatever, so it's cool. If you're interested in joining PALS, be sure to see Mr. Lippy and Mr. Boundary for more information. With CPHS News, I'm Haven Pinnell. Thanks, Haven. PALS is always welcoming new kids, so stop by the PALS room if you're interested in joining. After the break, we have your top three things and your Tuesday lifestyle report with Makaya Jordan. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. Texas Best Mini Donuts is a proud sponsor of CPHS News. Go check them out by CPMS and Free Wills Baptist Church off of Cypress Creek. Find them on Instagram at texas.mini.donuts. Smoky Moe's Barbecue, the best barbecue that money can buy. Proudly supporting Cedar Park High School. Introducing the new CPHS News app, where you can rewatch segments from the Wolfcast that you missed the day of, while you can also read top story articles from the Wolfpack and never miss the final score. Don't forget to turn on notifications to keep up to date with important alerts. Download the CPHS News app today. Good morning, Cedar Park High School, and welcome back to the Lifestyle Report. I am here today with Sanjana Gregani, and we are going to be talking about the robotics team, Team 5052. So I understand that the robotics team is through FRC, which is um, a corporation called FIRST, and it stands for FIRST Robotics Competition. Um, and so what, as the president, what is your favorite thing about being a part of the team? Um, honestly, probably having the power to actually like change the way that we do things. Um, I think the past three years, we've basically just done everything the same every year. Um, and I think I always saw a lot of room for improvement, but I didn't really have the capacity to like do anything about it. Um, so I like have been changing stuff up this year, and I think it's gone pretty success successfully. So like, yeah, I'm proud of it. <laughs> awesome. So. Um, how long have you have you been in robotics since your freshman year? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what was your favorite experience and I guess how has your mindset changed from being in robotics up until being a leader? Um, well, freshman year was like, you're a freshman and we basically, the entirety of what we did in software was mess around with the project, we, or the head of software. Um, and so we were like, literally like, we changed the air sound on her laptop to a scream at some point. <laughs> but like, I think I got an officer position my sophomore year and it like kept growing mm -hmm. after that. Um, and so like the more responsibility you get, the more you have to like actually focus on getting stuff done. Um, so my mindset kind of went from like, this is 
a fun thing that is only fun to like this is a fun thing that we can actually make really good if we actually tried to that's um, awesome so, yeah. so i guess what are your missions and values through frc and through team 5052 especially for this season um well, something we decided to actually focus on this season was like being sustainable. Um, I think a big focus is making sure that like the members know what they're doing and they can like run for officer positions and be able to like take over the officer positions once we leave. Um, and especially with like design team and engineering stuff, because one of our seniors did all of our electronics last year. So after he left, we did not know what we were gonna do. But um, definitely just being sustainable and then like winning, of course. But yeah. So, um, and my final question would be, I guess throughout the years, um, and throughout this year especially, I understand that you guys have always promoted equality within STEAM, um, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. <laughs> um, and so, why do you think that's so important, especially for you know the school, and why is it so important for robotics to promote that? Um, so, women in STEM is like, and it, it's a problem in the sense that there's not a lot of opportunities for women to be in STEM fields and um, I think that's like changing I think I think that's getting better but we definitely like a big part of the team is we have a Robo Rosie campaign which is like Ro Rosie the Riveter but she's um, redone as a cyborg and um, it's basically like a steampunk version of it you know to promote women in STEM and like we had my freshman year on the team we had like three girls total um, on a 50 person team yeah so like it was definitely a problem but we have we have almost doubled that to, to like 10 girls um, so more than so that's like I'd consider that as a success yeah, yeah that is a success that's awesome mm -hmm. um, so thank you so much for being yeah. here with us um, so this is Sanjana Gargani again I'm Makaya Jordan that was your lifestyle report thank you guys so much for tuning in um, I guess if you see Sanjana or anyone throughout the halls, wish them good luck because I know it is build season and it's about to be competition season. So thanks, guys. Have a great Tuesday. Thanks, Makaya. Now here are your top three things you need to know for today. First, Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro raised the Venezuelan minimum wage by 300% yesterday. While an economic change like this may seem crazy, it actually doesn't do much to help the economic crisis in a country facing hyperinflation, which is a fall of, in the purchasing value of currency and the general increase in prices. Next, after inviting them to the White House for a presidential dinner, President Donald Trump served the Clemson football team McDonald's, Burger King, and Wendy's. He stated, I think they like it better than anything we could give, and so we'll have a little fun. Last, this morning, a pedestrian was hit and killed by an 18-wheeler in North Austin on I-35, and all southbound lanes are shut down while the scene is cleared. Police say to avoid the area. Those are your top three things for today. With CPHS News, I'm Victor Martinez. Thanks, Victor. That's all we have for today with CPHS News. I'm Ellen Neal. And I'm Evan Vines. Remember to make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Have a phenomenal day, Cedar Park. Hey there, Haven Finnell here. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that like button. And if you enjoy all things CPHS, hit subscribe. Have a great day or not, the choice is yours.